Hi everybody, this is Cam and I'm back to talk to you about Smoky Quartz. One of my YouTube subscribers recommended that I do a video on Smoky Quartz and so well here we are talking about one of my favorite Smoky Quartz. I have a pretty large Smoky Quartz collection. I love it. Oops, oops. I know I'm a crystal hoarder but I love Smoky Quartz. What can I say? So let's talk a little bit about the geo geeky side of smoky quartz before we get into the metaphysical aspect. So smoky quartz, I'm gonna have my notes. So if I'm looking down, that's I'm just making sure I don't miss out on anything important. It's a, a variety of quartz, obviously smoky quartz. It's a variety of quartz. It's a silicate, and it's from the trigonal and hexagonal crystal system. I know, kind of boring. Moving on. Um, Smoky quartz is pretty worldwide. Oftentimes it comes from Brazil, uh, United States, Scotland, Mad Madagascar, Russia, Switzerland, and other places. So in terms of its physical characteristics, just I'm holding my smoky quartz. I'm caressing my smoky quartz. This one has a, a nice little uh, trigger thing sticking out the side that I like to rub. I know, I know. Okay, let me just talk about the physical characteristics. So, smoky quartz, in terms of its color, is usually on the brownish side, obviously. It can be a darker brown, lighter brown. It can be a tannish color. It can even be a really, really dark uh, brown, almost black. Um, it could even be a little grayish, which is like a lesser quality, I guess. But we don't discriminate. We love all kinds of natural smoky quartz. Um, it has the most hardness of seven as all quartzes do for the most part. It comes, it, it grows in points, clusters, uh, massive uh, micro crystalline kind of things. So, you know, I have all kinds of points. This is very common to have a regular point like regular, like clear quartz, right? So in terms of transparency, it can be very transparent, very see-through. I don't know if I have, oh, I do have one that's really, really clear. Oh, this one is gorgeous. This one's really clear. Um, it has a record keeper. Yeah. I'll have to put up a picture because I don't think you'll see the record keeper. Oh, you can. Look at that. Has a really nice record keeper. This record keeper is so deep when you look at it with the um, jeweler's loop. It's so deep. And it also has a future time loop. I know. This is a crazy piece. It's so clear and um, it has all this goodness. I got this piece from like a 1960s uh, dig uh, in Brazil, and I, f I found it in this like big bucket of smoky quartz and mixed citrines, and I was just amazed by all, I just wanted to take all of it, you know, I wanted to get adopt all of it, but I found this piece, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this piece, and uh, one of my all-time favorite pieces of smoky quartz. So it can be very clear, very translucent, or it can be very cloudy, um, depending on the quality. But unfortunately, smoky quartz is one that is sometimes artificially irradiated. Mother Earth does it herself, but sometimes we help it along. So you want to be careful when you're purchasing or adopting your smoky quartz that you're getting a natural piece. So make sure you ask the seller to do more research on that. I'd rather talk about the, the metaphysical aspect than the physical. Uh, it's vitreous, so it has reflective properties that are similar to glass, very glassy look and feel to it. It streaks white. Most quartz streaks white when you use it on the streak plate, which I didn't bring out today. Um, and then some interesting tidbits. I just wanted to share some interesting tidbits. So on May 31st, 1985, Smoky Quartz was designated as the official state gem of New Hampshire. How cool is that? I love it. And Smoky Quartz is the national gem of Scotland. I knew I love Scotland. Um, and they sometimes even use Smoky Quartz when they decorate kilts. Wow. I mean, how cool is that? And then also I found really interesting that in the 12th century, it said that in China, they use Smoky Quartz to make sunglasses. How neat is that? I would love to have a pair of Smoky Quartz sunglasses. How cool would that be? Moving on, in terms of physical healing, and disclaimer, 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 please read below, crystal healing is not meant to replace traditional healing or, you know, 
it's not meant to diagnose or cure or any of that stuff. But I do like to share what others say about this. So in terms of physical healing, it is said that it can help with sunburn. Because it's naturally irradiated, they're saying that it will help with sunburn, that it could help if you're going through chemotherapy or have any kind of radiation exposure. And I'm not saying that this is actually true. I don't know if it is. This is what the claim is, um, that it can help alleviate toxins. It's good for the hip and leg issues as well as abdominal issues. So those are some of the ways that some people may use smoky quartz in terms of physical ailments. Again, disclaimer, read below. I'm not making claims. In terms of metaphysical properties or spiritual properties, it is said to be associated with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn, depending on where you read that or who you hear it from. It's kind of all over the board on that one, so I share all three. It has an earth element. Yes, it is so earthy, and we're going to talk about that. In terms of chakras, you guessed it, earth star chakra, baby. I love Love, love, love smoky quartz on the earth star chakra, especially like a big point down at the bottom of the earth star chakra. Mm hmm. Really, really wonderful. But you can also use it at the root chakra and also, believe it or not, on the solar plexus chakra. Um, it's really good for helping to clear all those lower chakras, okay? Clear those blockages. It's great for protection. It's a wonderful one for protection. And what I love about smoky quartz and using it for protection is that it's gentle. It's not like obsidian, which is like really, really heavy. Smoky quartz is a lighter vibration to it, but it's earthy and soft and, and very protective, has very protective quality. Um, it gives off this positive vibration. It helps to alleviate fears. Um, it's, um, one of the best ways that I like to work with smoky quartz besides the earth star chakra is for nightmares or anything related to fears. If I'm fearful of something, storm is coming or, you know, something along those lines, I like to pull out my smoky quartz. I find that it really helps to uh, alleviate the fears. It's very calming and soothing and grounding and protective. Um, and it's also good for stress, obviously, because it's calming and soothing and grounding. But it's also good for headaches. Now, a lot of people say to go ahead and use things like amethyst for headaches. I find it to be a little too much. I mean, I already have way too much action going on up here when I have a headache. I want to bring that energy down. And so using something like a smoky quartz helps when you have all of that crazy buzzing, uh, crackling sound in your head, too much activity, pressure, and all that in your head. I like to bring it down or shoot it out the top, you know, but I don't like to just leave it hanging about in there. And I find smoky quartz helps to ground that energy. Um, and so those are some of the ways that I have listed here. But for me, I really love to place it down at the Earth Star Chakra. Um, and let me just show you some of my collection. I have this one. I have an elessiated one. I know. Look at that. Little crystal show and tell here. Um, I have lo a lot of tumbles because I use them in grids a lot. Um, I have, I showed you this one. Amazing. And then I have lots of points. Well, I don't have lots of points. I have a couple points. These are really great for grids, too. These are all natural. I have a really big chunk. This I also got out of that 1960s dig. Um, just in this, like, big bucket. Love this piece. This is so great for holding. And I have one that is uh, rutilated with epidote, with red epidote. How cool is that? Look at that. Awesome. And I also have, I know I have a lot of smoky quartz. I also have a shamanic dream quartz with rutile. And this is smoky quartz. Isn't that beautiful? And also, this is not in my personal collection, but a smoky quartz, um, Emma egg, 
use, you can use it for scrying. Smoky quartz can be used for scrying. Um, look at this wand. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful. Love it. Natural wand. Um, so that's about it. This is actually not mine. This is in my showcase. The, this one is also in the showcase. Depending on when you see this video, as of right now, it's it'll be available for adoption, but I don't know when the video will come out. It might be gone already. This one actually has a record keeper. I don't know if that's going to show up. Probably not. Um, but this is a twin, and here's another nice point, too. This has a record keeper. See that? Love smoky quartz. It's great, great, great for you can hold it in whatever hand you feel comfortable. If you have a point, you can place the point in your hand and have that energy facing this way. You can do that. Um, you can sleep with it. If you have a smaller piece, like a tumbled piece or a smaller rough piece, put it in your pillowcase. Again, it really is good for nightmares and fear reduction. You can carry it with you, put it in your pocket, put it in your bra, um, put it in your purse or your wallet. It's good for just, you know, having on your person. It's one that's not too high vibe. You know, it helps on a gentle level. It's a very subtle, gentle energy. And so it's one that you can have on you. Um, you could put it in crystal grids. You can make crystal elixirs, indirect method, of course. Lots of different ways to work with smoky quartz. So I'm going to take a moment to just check to see what the experts say about smoky quartz. Have here Naisha Ashian's Crystal Ally cards, the Crystal Path to Self Knowledge. I absolutely love these cards. I love this book. I'll show you the one card. Grounding, yep, smoky quartz, all about the grounding. But it's such a nice, gentle grounding, guys. It's not like um, it. Do, it's not like it feels like it's just like pulling it down like a lodestone would or an obsidian. It's just really gentle. So what I love about this book is Naisha goes into she talks about the smoky quartz and other crystals, but then she gives you, a, there's a message. So if you're all of a sudden interested in smoky quartz, you know, maybe you clicked on this video because you wanted to learn more about it for some reason. Um, there's a message and I wanted to read part of this message. I really recommend this, this uh, book and you get the cards on the book. The smoky quartz message goes as follows. Smoky quartz has come to gently remind you that you need to reconnect with the earth upon which you live. You have chosen the earth plane as your home for this lifetime. And though you may long for the return to the freedom of your energetic state of being, you must remember that you have a task to complete before you can return to those higher realms of energy. And um, I won't read the rest. I recommend that you get the book to read the full message of this and many other crystals. Um, so what does that resonate with you? Do you feel like you need more grounding, more connecting? to the earth i feel like that's my personal mission is to help people to ground and i did a whole video about this um i felt this way since about at least since last summer i realized i realized that i needed to do this grounding work and so i find it fascinating that i just read that paragraph <laughs> Because that's exactly how i feel um it's so important maybe that's why i have so much smoky quartz and a lot of grounding crystals. I have a lot of brown, and and I love the browns and the tans. I, not so much the blacks. I like the browns and the tans because of the Earth Star Chakra. Um, that's a chakra that I, I'll probably do a video on that to help you guys to do more of that Earth Star Chakra type of connecting because um, it's really very really powerful. So next, I'd like to share a little bit about what uh, Philip Permont has to say about smoky quartz. Uh, this is from the book The Crystal Healer. So let's see what I have here. 
And I have it written down because the print is too small. And I'm half blind. So let's see. Um, I thought this was really interesting. Uh, smoky quartz. It channels energy through the hands. Like for example, in Reiki or spiritual healing. So holding the smoky quartz in your hand during meditation or during sleeping or relaxation or healing sessions is a really good idea. Um, he goes on to say it helps with negativity, anger, depression, despair, and grief. And it helps speed up the laws of karma. So I thought that was really interesting. Thank you, Philip. And then let's see what um, Judy Hall in the Crystal Bible has to say about smoky quartz. And again, I have it written out. Here's the page. And I have this little tidbit that I picked out. Grounding. Um, it's grounding spiritual energy and gently neutralizing negative vibrations. So, yes, yeah, all about that grounding. Uh, smoky quartz helps to block geopathic stress, absorb electromagnetic smog, and assists with elimination and detoxification on all levels. So it's really good for clearing out that negative energy. It brings in a positive vibration to fill the space. It really does. Um, I, I was working with Damborite not too long ago, filming a video about Damborite, which that video came out first before this one. And, but I had the Damborite all, all around my table and I was just getting really uh, jittery and get that real high vibe, crystal high going. And now I brought out all my smoky quartz to do the smoky quartz video. And I feel more at ease, more focused actually. And, um, you know, just more grounded and centered and present and not so much wee out there. So smoky quartz really does have that positive effect. So that's all I have on smoky quartz. I hope that you guys found this useful. I would love to know how do you work with smoky quartz? Um, is it one of your favorites? What do you use it for? What kind of experiences have you had? I'd love to hear all about it in the comments below. Please take a moment to give me a like if you like this video because it helps get the video out there. And I'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to subscribe. If you like this video, there's a lot of other videos just like this one on my channel. And I'll be doing more in the future as well. And once you subscribe, make sure you ring my bell. Because you want to be sure that you get all of that crystallicious information, all those crystallicious videos that are coming up. You'll be notified. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you being on this journey with me. And as always, have a blessed day. Bye.